Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do this right on scribble on effect um, that you can do very simply inside Adobe After Effects and yeah, without much further ado, we're going to jump straight into it and I'm going to show you how to do that effect. So the first thing you're going to need to do is when you're in Premiere Pro is just select the clip that you want to be writing the text onto and you're just going to right click on that and replace with After Effects Composition and once you are in After Effects with the clip opened up the first thing you want to do is just go up here to the top animation and track camera now just wait a few minutes while it just goes through and does a 3d track on the entire scene so once the 3d track has been solved as you can see here just come up with a load of track points just go up here to the top left increase the tracker point size just so you can see it a bit better so yeah if you go to the end of the clip and hold down shift and click a load of points all in the same sort of vicinity, like so. And then you're gonna get an area where you want your text to be laid onto. And then all you wanna do is just right click and create text and camera. Double click on the text layer and input the text that you would like to be placed. And then you just wanna go into the text layer in the bottom left here into the transform properties and just play around with the X rotation which will just bring it up like that the Y rotation which just swings it around and just bring the scale down and if you play through you should have the text now tracked into the scene Okay, so once we have that tracked into our scene, we want to select the Behold Text layer. Zoom in to 50 or 100%. Go up here to the top left and select the Mask tool. And now what we want to do is we want to write on to Behold, we want to write a mask as we would actually be writing with our, our hand ourselves. So how we would actually write out Behold, we want that mask to be writing on. So if I show you, we start here from the bottom. Come up here on the B and then just make a keyframe marker. And if you want to make a curve on the actual mask itself, just hold down the, the mouse button and actually just toggle these little levers. If you do the same for moving it around here. And then when you're coming up to the end of the letter, you just want to finish the letter and join it together as you would start the next letter so if you're going for b it's b and then going round to the next which will be the o so we'll come round here like this you can start just making a mask in the middle portion of the o and i'm just going to fast forward this part because i think you get the idea now Okay, once you've done that and you've gone through and made a mask right through the middle of the whole word, you can now zoom out and you want to go up here to the top left and look for the stroke effect. Once you have that, just drag it on over to the text effect. And now what you want to do is just, we'll just select a different color just for now because we want to increase the brush size. If we zoom in again just increase the brush size so that the brush is in, in covering up the whole of the actual word once that's done just go down here to reveal original image and what we're going to do is we're going to set a couple of keyframes for when we want the text to start writing on so you can go about here and we're going to go down to this end stopwatch timer just click it and go to zero percent that's going to click create a keyframe for the end point and that's going to be at zero percent and then you just want to go to where you want the word to be fully written onto and we're going to go all the way up to 100 on the end point so that's created another keyframe there and as you can see as you play through behold is now being written on the last thing you want to do is just 
take the two keyframes that you made, select them, keyframe assistant and easy ease. That will just mean that it will ease into the writing rather than coming on too abruptly. And there we go. Nice and smooth. And yeah, the last thing you probably want to do is when you get back into Premiere Pro is to just add a sound effect of some scribbling, some writing. Um, that's what I did in, in the video that I made. And actually the last video I just made was actually about sound effects. So if you want to learn more about that and how to implement them into your videos and do check that video out. And yeah, there we go. That is how you do that effect. Um, I hope you found the video useful as always. If you did, do consider giving it a like. Subscribe with the notifications bell turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads that I do put up. And yeah, just a quick one today, but something that you might find useful and might want to implement in your own videos in the future. And if you do, fantastic. Really hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.